This is Scott with Believers Underground. I'm here with Richard, and he's going to tell us about what he saw up there in these mountain ranges. I was coming home uh, from Yakima one evening. Uh, it's over Highway 12, which comes through the middle of Lewis County here. And uh, we had to stop for a road uh, repair. Uh, they were uh, had shut down for about 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. And I happened to be the first in line uh, talking to the uh, flag man there. Mm -hmm. And uh, conversations went from one thing to the other, and, and uh, it kind of lost interest in a lot of things. But anyway, uh, he was doing his job, and I was standing there, or actually sitting in the seat, looking across, and I could see the east, which is actually the southeast side of Rainier, Mount Rainier. Uh, I know it well. I've uh, been through there many, many times. Mm -hmm. And I was kind of curious as to what i seen. I stopped for a moment and thought about it, and I, it could be what I've seen. It was a very, very clear blue day, blue sky. Um, nothing as far as activity of any clouds coming through. Yeah, no one was burning brush or anything no like that? No one that I know of. Usually a slash burn, uh, especially you're in a park there. That's a national park. Yeah. So there would be nothing, no logging activity and like that. So anyway, I took and uh, uh, proceeded to just watch it, and I seen a black cloud. And it was more or less halfway down the mountain, okay. not coming out of the top of the mountain, but halfway down the side of the mountain. And I noticed it moving to the north from that point. And it was a fairly good sized cloud, but it had leveled out. In other words, it had crowned on top, but it was level on the bottom. Correct. So I <laughs> it caught my attention. Quite I a bit. think it would catch your attention. <laughs> so then I just went ahead and uh, sat there for a little bit longer, and about I'd say a matter of 15 minutes after that had drifted off, I seen another one. Okay. That's when I pulled out my uh, I had a pair of binoculars beside me that I kept in the in the van all the time anyway, and I watched it, and then I could see it shoot out the side of that hill. Okay. And there's a crevice there. Um, uh, Andrews Peak is one of them, and there's another one a little bit more farther to the south, but there's about a thousand foot drop off, and it's a large crevice in the side of Mount Rainier. It's always been there. It's always been well known because it doesn't collect snow or ice, either one. Okay. Um, so it's a warm side of the hill. It's a warm side of the hill, and the other thing that, that really verified of what I was seeing was the fact that after this came out, this this uh, puff of at what could be, could have been steam and ash at the same time it would drift to the north it drifted up over the top of it and you could see where it had turned the snow black so that that really caught my attention so yeah <laughs> I sat there and watched it for a few more minutes and then of course they wanted us to move on down the road from that point on I couldn't see the mountain anymore after that I stopped in Packwood uh, Washington and and viewed it from where I could see it down there, but I couldn't see any activity from there. Okay, what roadway were you on? Highway 12. Highway 12. Okay. Yeah. About what, 15 miles from here, 20 miles? No, it's a good, uh, from this point on to where i seen it, uh, you're probably about 45 to 50 miles. Okay, going that direction? Going straight due east. Okay. Anyway, that doesn't sound too good for you folks, but... Uh, did, well, did you contact USGS? Yes, I did. I contacted them, uh, not immediately. It was after I got home that night. Uh, it was late, about 9, 9.30. Uh, I wrote an, I found the email address to the uh, University of Washington. Okay. Uh, USGS that controls that up there and watches that. Uh, didn't have anything for about, oh, 20, 30 minutes, and then I got a, an email from a lady back in Virginia, and I don't remember her name at this time. Um, Could have been Jessica Robinson? By any chance? I'd have to look, I'd have to okay, call. that's fine. I, I'm sorry, I don't I don't remember her name. But uh, uh, it was right uh, within about 20 minutes uh, she asked me, or wrote, and said that uh, uh, that I would be um, notified or should say uh, uh, yeah, notified by uh, Mr. Michael and I can't believe his last name, I can't remember, it was, uh, and I don't want to give out his name. Cause yeah, don't, don't worry about it. No. But anyway, Michael wrote me back, uh, uh, w would write me back, I should say, would would uh, be in contact with me, and stated that uh, 
what I wrote on the email was, are you aware that Rainier was venting from the side, of its side, I should say, on the east, southeast corner. And uh, anyway, she says that's what caught her attention, so she made sure that he got the email. Mm -hmm. And the next morning, I got an email in my box when I got up and opened it up, and it had stated that uh, um, they were not aware of it. Uh, it could be or it could be not. And that um, uh, was not a concern, uh, but they were going to follow up on it. And that was the last I heard from him. He was going to keep me in the loop, more or less. How long ago was that? This has been four weeks ago. Four weeks. Okay, well, we'll go up there and take a look at it. Um, the USGS has been alerted. Uh, you know, we were looking at Mount St. Helen today, and Mount Nerudin here is right by it. We are looking at the dams up here, and, and I saw some land deformation over there, too. So, you know, I hope USGS is on the ball. Uh, have a good one, folks. We'll stop with Believers Underground. looks sickly about three quarters up. Oh, I can't think. Oh, a tunnel, cool. And the slide over there. No, you aren't in a tunnel. Oh, tunnel. There we go. Blow your horn. Blow your tongue, you just blow your horn. Some more landslides up there. Hey, do you see a black smoke? I see black smoke. Could be clouds. Could be. They don't look like clouds to me. That doesn't look like cloud, does it? <laughs> no. I think homeboy was spot on with his venting. Maybe. That's dark. That's really dark stuff right there, man. Pretty dark for clouds. Yeah. Too dark for snow clouds. Dense, they're dense. They're way dense and they're getting darker around this other side. It looks like it's coming right out of the mountain. Either that or it's lake in the valley. Well, we'll know. We'll go over there. Definitely yeah, worthy of... If discovered that, it would be quite a discovery. Well, actually, they did discover it. It would yeah. be quite a revolution there, yeah. Plain to put out, yeah. Well, you can't see this behind a keyboard. You can't read about this in a book. you got to go see it. Yeah. And we're looking at Mount Rainier. And look what we got! Mr. Kimjo! Mr. Cantrell, follow your line. Radioactive forcing all the time. Protect them glaciers when they heat up. So they don't melt and blow the heck up. <laughs> Mr. Cantrell, sing me a dream. They'll be just praying to stuff. Get those medals in the air.